what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my may current household i am so excited to be here current households are my favorite to film i think i say that in every single current household um also i can't believe it's freaking may already like i know everyone has been saying april took forever because of the quarantine i personally think april went by super freaking fast probably because i still worked during it so honestly my life wasn't that different but anyways I'm back with my May current household. It is a continuation of my April current household. Actually, I had two in April and I'm gonna have two in May as well. So I did the Martin family and the Elliot family. So this is the Elliot family. So if you guys wanna go back um, and watch the April current household, <coughs> excuse me, just see where this family started. I think it's something about I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was like the mother and the teenage daughter were pregnant at the same time, so like that's the thumbnail if you want to go find it. Anyways, I have been absolutely binge playing this family. I love them so much. You are not going to believe how far I came. Um, so the family right now is actually pretty small, but the family tree is big. So I'm going to explain the family tree and everything too, but... The main character, or like the main focus, the heir of this generation, whatever, she was a baby, or maybe a toddler. She was either a baby or a toddler last month, and now she's a young adult. That is how much I have been binge playing this freaking family. So, I'm going to show you guys the house first, as I always do. Um, we are in the town of... Storybrook County. Why do I always have trouble with that? So basically in Storybrook County, they have these little like, they're supposed to look like trailers. So they have like three little trailers next to each other. And both of these Sims are young adults. And sorry, my dog decided to eat his breakfast right now at 5 p.m. So if you hear him crunching, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, basically it's three little trailers. And honestly, they all kind of look like not very good like if you see these ones over here like they're not ugly but they're not good and the inside is not decorated very well I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about so basically when these guys were you know I'll, I'll, you'll figure it out when I explain their story but when they were at a certain point in their life they were ready to kind of buy a small little house and do like a little fixer upper thing so it's not a hundred percent finished um, we do have the money to finish it but it's not a hundred percent finished but it's like 98% finished. I'm so close to being done with it. So basically the front yard is nothing. I know it's snow, but there's literally nothing here. And then in the backyard, I know we have cats and not dogs, but this was already with the house, so I figured I'd just keep it. It's set up for a dog, and then I put a little grill and a tabletop, and then also the sprinkler system, but of course it's winter. The snow's too deep. Yeah, cute. All right, so when you walk in to this house, I switched the doors out. Originally, they had two, like, single doors, and I was like, no, sis, that's not happening. So when you walk in, it's, you look into kind of the, can that door shut, please? Why is that door open? Oh, because the cat's coming out. Hold on. I want these, okay, now both the doors are open. I want both doors to shut, please. Okay. <laughs> So you walk in and it's like the kitchen, dining room, living room area that you see here. Over here we have our big cat condo because of course, why not? Over this way we have the living room. Very, very cute. I, I need to fix that. That bugs me that it's not lined up with the wall. I did not realize that. Here are a bunch of their achievements. We have um, one of them is from, actually I think these are both their high school diplomas. Yeah, these are their high school diplomas, and then these are the things they got from... I swear I can hear people in my house, but... It's like I hear a noise, but I only hear it when I'm talking. So maybe I'm going crazy. Anyways, these are the achievements they got um, from graduating high school. Living room is pretty basic. They don't really use it that often, but, you know, what's a house without a living room? And then in here is the one bathroom. This is a two bedroom, one bath house. Oh look, there's our gnome, cute. And it's a, it's a pretty basic bathroom. I did want a separate shower and tub. I really wish, I love this tub 
so much, but I wish it was a shower at the same time, you know? Like, I wish it was a shower tub instead of just a tub, because then I would use it a lot more often, because I really hate just tubs in my houses. Anyways, <laughs> come back out here, and as we head down the line, we have a little phone. This is their dining room table. It is just the two of them, and I plan on it being just the two of them for quite a while, so that's why it's a table for two. Here is our little family getting a phone call. Anyways, excuse the boyfriend, I'm sorry. So this is the little family tree. One thing I did when I started this family was every single season, they would go to the festival and they would take a festival, pic festival picture so I could just kind of see how the family has grown and changed. And sometimes it changes drastically from season to season. Sometimes it changes just a little bit. Uh, that's because my seasons, like my winter season is only three days, but I think my summer season is like 14 or something pretty long. So that's why sometimes it's a drastic change. Sometimes it's a small change. But basically we started with her name was Chrissy. That is the, um, the girl in this house. Her name's Annie. That's her mother. And it was Chrissy with a toddler son and pregnant. And then Chrissy again pregnant with a kid son and a toddler daughter. And then Chrissy with her two kids and her toddler. And then this time she finally had a boyfriend. <laughs> Go Chrissy, we love her. And then a teenager, a kid, and a toddler. Um, now she's got four kids. Now she's got five kids. And this little, the blondie in the pink and white shirt. That is Annie as a toddler, super cute. Um, Annie was a child here, very, very cute. She is the fifth child out of six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, she's the fifth child out of six kids. Um, Annie was a child here again. Now Annie is a teenager. Isn't she so cute? I loved her as a teen. That was probably like when she... Like, she's still super cute now, but that was probably when I loved her the most. And then Annie as a young adult, still living at home, and then now Annie and her boyfriend, Sean. Actually, fiancé Sean, but we'll get to that. So that's how the family has kind of grown and changed. It's very, very cute. I like it a lot. Um, this room right here is just kind of our spare, oh, there's, oh, the light's just off. Okay, we love that. This is like our spare room. If they do end up like accidentally having a baby before they move, which I don't want them to, but sometimes I do, like I'll randomly do a risky woohoo just because it's more realistic to me. So if they end up accidentally having a baby before they move out of this house, this will be the baby's room, but for now it's kind of their skill building room, so Sean likes to work out a lot, and Annie likes to paint on the side, and then a bed for their cats. Over here is the kitchen. It's not the best, but with the space we have, I did the best I could. Annie is a cook. Like, she's a very good cook, so I wanted a somewhat nice kitchen. So this is our beautiful kitchen. That door just leads to the backyard. And then this is Sean and Annie's room. It is pretty small, so I couldn't do a lot with it, but it's got two bedside tables. This is their picture from prom. They are high school sweethearts. Um, this is his uh, university graduation certificate. She has not graduated university yet. Um, and then these are some silly pictures, some romantic pictures. This is Annie's side of the bed, and I think it's really cute. She's got her, she was prom queen, so she's got her little crown kind of hidden under her bed. You know, she doesn't want to fully get rid of it, but also she knows prom is a different lifetime. <laughs> and then this was just a picture when she was a teenager and he was a young adult. So I always find it funny the way those pictures turn out. So now to the family. This is Miss Annie Elliott. Um, her last name is about to change, but right now she is Miss Annie Elliott. She is so freaking cute. I love her so much. Like I said, she is the fifth child out of sixth, so she was a very, very independent child because her, her siblings were a lot to handle. Well, kind of. Some of them were a lot to handle. Um, two of her five siblings were teen parents, and yeah. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So her lifetime wish is to be a celebrity five-star chef, which is obviously the top of the culinary career. She is a cancer, has 21 days till she's an adult, likes kids music, vegetarian, dim sum, and the color yellow. She is over-emotional, a natural cook, loves the heat, light sleeper, and friendly. Um, she is currently a receptionist at the spa because I kind of want to make it 
you know, realistic. Like, she is technically a college student. The way I, like, the time frame I kind of put these guys in, or, like, the aging I kind of put them in, Sean is, he just graduated college. So what's, that's, like, 21, 22-ish. And then Annie has one more year of college left. So she's, like, 20, 21. So typically when you're in college and if you can afford it which obviously because Sean has a full-time job she can't afford it you only work a part-time job so I put her there for now she's actually going to go back to university today and finish out her degree but anyways different story she's a level seven cooking she focused on cooking so hard in university I think she went to university with only two levels in cooking so she cooked a lot and I'm very proud of her she's already almost maxed that out and she hasn't even joined the cooking skill or cooking career so once we do she should be getting promotions really quickly she's also a level four almost five painting because you know she does painting on the side her mom was a painter as well so she kind of well, her mom did painting on the side as well, so she kind of took after her mom with that. And then level one, social networking. She does have a car, but it's not the best car. I think it's, yeah, it's like a $2,000 car, which isn't terrible, but, you know, my my first two cars I owned were both less than $2,000. Um, but yeah, that is Annie. She's super cute. And then I got her the Fast Learner and the Office Hero Lifetime Reward. There's actually another one I want to get. But now I'm having trouble remembering what it was. Oh, shoot. I think it was a 15... Oh, my God. I can't remember now. Oh, here we go. No, not long distance friend. I don't know. Anyways, I'll figure it out later. So that's Annie. She's so super freaking cute. And Annie has had a cat, little Miss Ollie over here. He, She got Ollie when she was a teenager. Um, I just really wanted to... Because I knew that I was going to continue the family with Annie, back when she still lived with her mother, I kind of wanted to focus on the other siblings and give them a good storyline. Um, just because I knew I was going to focus on Annie a lot as a young adult. So I gave her a cat just to kind of have a little companion. So this is Miss Ollie Elliot. She is a female, obviously. Has 10 days till she's an elder. We did get her as a kitten, but like I said, we got her when Annie was like still pretty early stages of being a teenager. So Ollie is playful and has learned the non-destructive, neat, and hunter trait. And she's a level four in hunting, so pretty freaking cool. So that's Ollie. And the next person to move into the family was Mr. Sean over here. I'm actually going to, this is his work outfit because he's about to go to work. So I'm going to put him in his everyday real quick just so you guys can see that he is so freaking cute he's actually like a townie sim yeah very cute I love him so much so he and Annie were best friends in high school like the best of friends the best friends anyone ever could be um, and when they went to prom he asked her to they went to prom as friends because neither of them had a date and that's when he finally made his move and asked her to be his girlfriend and of course she said yes and they have been together ever since and he moved in right before they went to university so his lifetime wish is to swim be swimming in cash I really don't care about his lifetime wish like I love Sean don't get me wrong but Annie is definitely the star of the show here so he is a Leo, has 18 days till he's an adult, likes island life music, egg rolls, and the color sea foam. He is nurturing, frugal, easily impressed, ambitious, and friendly. And he is currently a level four in the education career, which is an elementary school teacher. But technically, today is his first day of, of actually going to like this job. He has had jobs in the past. Um, oh yeah, and he graduated university in the business career with an A. And he did have two different jobs in the past so that's Sean he's a level six almost seven athletic the only reason he works out so much is because when he and Annie started dating in high school when he was still a townie before I could control him he was very plus size <laughs> like and there's nothing against that I'm plus size myself like I'm not against it but he was literally as big as you could be like the biggest you could make your sim that's how big he was and he's still not like He's definitely not f plus size anymore, but he's still a little bit thicker than most of my Sims. And I think I'm going to keep him that way because I think that's just who he is. He's such a cutie though. I love him. But that is why his athletic skill is so high is because I had him, I had him like 
have a glow up in university, so he lost a bunch of weight in university. It's kind of the storyline I go with. He's a level four in charisma, pretty much a level five. Like, he needs to talk to someone one more time and he'll be a level five, which is good because he needs that for his job, so I really, really like that. Uh, level four cooking, level one guitar, level five handiness. I want him to be a handyman and fix everything around the house. I'm actually slowly having him make everything be self-cleaner. So, like, this is self-cleaning. The shower is self-cleaning, the sink is self-cleaning, and next will be the bath once he has time. And then he's also a level two logic, but he needs three for his job. And he does have a car also, so I think the next thing I want to do for like fixing up the house is do the windows because they look awful. I'm probably just going to make them plain white. And then I want to get them both new cars because I feel like... I don't know, I just feel like he deserves a nice new car. So now onto the family tree that I was very excited to show you guys. So this is Miss Chrissy, she started it all. She actually is dating this guy named Kendricks, um, which is fine, like after her husband died, which her youngest three share a dad and that was her husband. After he died, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna let her, she's not gonna date for as long as I control her but as soon as I don't control her anymore I'll let her date if she wants so she started dating Kendricks I'm so happy for her I love her so basically Chrissy's story again if you watch last month's I'll explain more in depth but she had her first two kids Matt and JC with her first husband and Matt is now married to Gracie they are high school sweethearts and they have three children together, Lucas, who is a teenager, and he had a, he just had a daughter, so he was a teen parent, and Matt's a freaking grandpa, that's crazy. And then they had twins, Jason and Margarita. Sometimes I hate the names, the Sims pick. And then JC was a teen mom as well, she had Maisie as a teenager, and Maisie is actually a young adult already. Fun fact. Maisie is only one sim day younger than Steven, and Steven is Chrissy's youngest kid. So she had a kid and then had a grandkid the next day. And JC has dated, I think this is like her third boyfriend, so she's never really settled down. She's just kind of, why does she only have four traits? That's annoying. I hate when it does that. So yeah, she's never really settled down. She's just kind of, um had different guys her whole life, which, I mean, it seems to be working for her. She seems happy, you know. And then Chrissy's third kid is Dom, Dominic, whatever you want to call him, and he has a separate father than all the other kids, so he's the only one of the kids without a full sibling, but his father was not a very good person, um, Darwin. And Dom is kind of... I don't know, he's kind of a loner. He's had one girlfriend, but he never dated in high school, and he's had one girlfriend since he moved out, and obviously they're not together anymore, and he's just kind of a loner and just kind of chilling on his own. And he has six traits uh, because he, um, he got his nerd influence up high enough to pick himself a trait. And then next is Corey. I freaking love Corey. I honestly debated continuing the family with Corey instead, but I'm really glad I picked Annie. Corey is the oldest child of Simon and Chrissy together. Simon was Chrissy's husband, and then he was much older, so he passed away. Corey has been around the block. Um, as a, He had four kids before he became a young adult with four different people. So his oldest child is Kyle, and he had Kyle with this girl named Terry, who apparently got married and changed his last name. Okay, that's fine. And then next he had John with this girl named Son Sonia, Sonia, whatever you want to say. And Sonia was actually Corey's best friend in high school, and she's actually a lesbian. And the whole thing with her and Corey is... They were both kind of feeling down, like they had both just gotten broken up with, and it, it was like a one-time thing, like, just to see what it's like, I guess, and they agreed that there were no feelings there, and Sonia and John actually lived with Corey and Chrissy for a little bit before, when Sonia was a teenager, because both her parents had passed while she was pregnant with John, so Corey told her that she could move in, and of course Chrissy wanted her grandchild in the house. Next, he had Tania with Holly, and Holly is engaged to an old man. We love that. 
And then he had Mr. Harry with his now wife, but at the time they were only... Were they even dating? I want to say they were romantic interests, and then they started dating when she got pregnant. I can't remember exactly, though. But he had Harry with... I think they were dating. I don't know. Um, anyways, her name is Shanta. And yeah, he had all four of those kids as a teenager. And then once he became a young adult, I had Shanta move in. I had them get engaged. He is commitment issued, so the reason I didn't get them married is because I thought maybe he would break up with her once he was moved out and making his own decisions. But they actually decided to get married and have a second child. So they have Lena, and she is so freaking cute. And they are really back and forth. I get notifications all the time saying like, oh, they were seen swooning in each other's arms. And then like later in the day, it's like they got into a heated argument and their relationship's on the rocks. So they're a very back and forth couple. And then the youngest of the six children is Mr. Steven. He was still in high school when I left. And as far as I know, he's still living with Chrissy. But I guess he's got a girlfriend. He is dating Darla, who's in high school. So they must have started dating like right after I moved Annie out because he's only three days younger. But yeah, that is the family. That's the whole fam bam. I feel like even the, oh, I totally forgot. That's not the whole fam bam. They got another kitten after they moved out on their own. Annie really loves cats, so they got him another. So, Sean got Annie a kitten named Sammy, and this is really annoying. So, it's saying that our pet never actually arrived. So, what happened was we adopted Sammy at the same time that the game decided to, uh, like, make another family in town adopt Sammy. So technically, they counted it as the other family got Sammy, but then Sammy still was added to our family like tree, and we can still control him, but technically he's the other family's cat, and our cat was never delivered, so we can literally never adopt another pet from the shelter. Super annoying. I'm hoping once we move that it fixes itself. But yeah, this is baby Sam. Still a kitten. Gonna be an adult today though. And Sam is shy and quiet, but has learned the hyper, non-destructive, and neat trait. And has no skills. So that's the family. Um, I really thought this was gonna be like a five minute current household because of how small the family is. But I feel like I've been recording for an hour. So we'll see how long this ends up being. Obviously you guys already know. But I am in love with this family, I'm obsessed with this family, and I'm going to keep playing them for as long as my little heart desires, which right now it desires this family a lot. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. You will definitely see this family in my June. Holy shit, June. My June current household. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And subscribe if you have not already. And I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye, guys.